Californians alert apps didn't sound for two big earthquakes. Why not? Los Angeles residents were not pleased last week when a pair of earthquakes struck and the shaky Alertla app on their phones did just what it was supposed to do nothing. The app, after more than a year of development, is intended to give at least a few precious seconds of notice before dangerous shaking from an earthquake. But users didn't, how is the app supposed to work? Since 2006, the United States Geological Survey has been developing a network of sensors up and down the west coast to detect potentially damaging seismic activity. The shaky alert earthquake. Earthquake. How much warning users get depends on how far they happen to be from the epicenter of the quake. Those who are very close. Why was there no alert for the big quakes last week? The short answer is, the shaking wasn't bad enough in Los Angeles. The earthquakes on Thursday and Friday were certainly very powerful, with magnitudes of 6.4 and 7.1 at their epicenters near the city of Ridgecrest, California. But Ridgecrest is, so, though because of the tremors, the quake's effects did not exceed the system's minimum threshold in Los Angeles County, the only place where the shaky Alertla app has been implemented. The system is intended to notice an earthquake of 5.0 magnitude or greater, and then predict where in the county the quake is likely to be felt at an intensity of 4 or more. Alerts are sent, at that intensity, which is then magnitude, cars will rock, dishes will rattle and people will feel the earthquake indoors you and may even be roused from sleep. The system did not issue alerts because, immediately after the quakes struck, it predicted that they would not exceed the intensity threshold anywhere in the county. As it turned out, what is changing now? In response to complaints, the city and the creators of the app announced that they were to increase the app's sensitivity. We hear you, and we'll lower the alert threshold with that USGS shake alert, the city of Los Angeles wrote on Twitter after the first earthquake on Thursday. Once it is updated, the app will send alerts to areas where an earthquake is expected to be felt at an intensity of 3 or more, down from 4 or more now, according to Jeff Gurel, the city's deputy mayor for public safety. Los Angeles officials expect the new lower threshold to be in place by the end of July. If it had been in effect, officials are also discussing lowering the app's magnitude threshold. Mr. Gurel said the move was in response to public concerns after last week's earthquakes, when some users said they wanted to be alerted in advance of any significant shaking. We don't want to have alert fatigue, but we also don't want people to delete the app or for the public to turn against the app, he said. It really is a chow. Robert D. Grote, the national coordinator of outreach and education for Shake Alert at the USGS, said the change was part of a move toward more broad alerting. Los Angeles and USGS officials said they realized that users grew concerned when they felt the earth move without receiving the warnings they expected. Practicing drop, cover and hold on is actually a good thing, but there also can be a level of annoyance, so we need to strike that balance, Mr. D. Grote said. We want to do as much what are users saying. Still. Some users of the app were surprised and disappointed to hear that the system was working as intended when it issued no alert last week. So the app did nothing during today's quake and therefore performed as designed, a Twitter user named Kyle Kropinski wrote. Seems like a pretty- Some people suggested that the app be programmed to provide two kinds of alerts you one for relatively minor tremors and another for more serious earthquakes you or that users be allowed to set their own thresholds. Another Twitter user, Sergio Trevi plus or minus O, tagged Mayor Eric Garcetti of Los Angeles and said he was waiting for today's excuse.